Rudy Ortega may call it the best view in the stadium, but his seat in section 61, row 29, is the farthest from the field. He bought his ticket this morning for 14 bucks. They just sell me the ticket. They said we got 100 tickets left. So my friend and I, we just came here and buy the tickets. Rudy's just one of the 64,889 people who packed into the queue tonight with signs, towels, and one major goal to make a lot of noise. farthest seat from home plate, but he definitely doesn't have the worst seat in the house. That honor belongs to Donnie Stablon. Donnie's supposed to be sitting in section 20, row 18, seat 18. Here's his view of the game. You can't even see the guy batting, so it's pretty much piss poor. I mean, it's, it's pretty bad. Donnie moved down a row for a better angle. He's lucky there weren't many open seats to move into. Padres fans packed the queue creating a feeling few fans have ever felt before. It's intense, it's an adrenaline rush, it's awesome. Yeah! Oh, it's wonderful, it's great, we enjoy it. As the game moved on, the crowd got louder. One, and when Wally Joyner hit an eighth inning home run to put the game out of reach, <laughs> the fans knew tonight they wouldn't leave the queue feeling blue. So they stood through the whole ninth inning and cheered on Trevor Hoffman as he set down the Astros in order to seal the win. Kissing off the Astros for good, now bring on Atlanta. From Qualcomm Stadium, Steve Price, KFNB News 8. If you don't think San Diegans are excited about the Padres, Listen to this. Sunday's crowd of 64,898 at the queue cheered on the pods from the first pitch to the last out. I never experienced anything like uh, yesterday. That was outstanding. That was beautiful. I mean, when Hoffy came in, uh, it went crazy. I never been. I never been to anything except a Super Bowl. But for your home team, that's incredible. Waving towels, holding signs, banging noisemakers. It was quite a workout. I hurt my arm just cheering them on the other day so I know it means a lot and it means a lot for us too. It just lifts everybody's spirits up in the community. Now it's off to Atlanta for the National League Championship Series and the fans can't stay away. About 50 of them came by Qualcomm Stadium just to watch the team load onto their airport bound buses. Vani, Bruce Bochy, uh, Trevor. I'm still waiting to see Kevin Brown. He's my favorite. I'm your number one fan. Brown finally showed up, but he knows there's still a lot of work to do. And let's hope we give him reason to be here screaming and yelling at the end of October. The rowdy crowd has pumped all the Padres up, especially Jim Larritz, who's hit a home run in San Diego's last three games. You know, it's one of those things that I don't want to wake up. You know, I, I, like I told my wife last night, I said, I don't want to wake up yet. You know, it's one of those things that uh, hopefully it'll continue and uh, we'll see what happens. The Padres headed to Atlanta this morning in two chartered 727s. They'll get the night off, then take batting practice tomorrow. But right now, they're still flying high from the biggest and noisiest baseball crowd San Diego has ever seen. The line started forming this morning at a quarter of six. Holiday today for me, I work for a mortgage company, so uh... Time to come down and see the Padres play and hopefully take it today. It might have been chilly this morning, but right now the Padres are red hot. So fans didn't mind lining up by the hundreds to buy tickets to seats. Way out of the strike zone. We don't care. There are no crummy seats for see the it. Padres. We, just want to see we want to be there when <laughs> they win right. this. When they go, we want to be there. Yeah. The Padres started the day with 13,000 seats for sale. Plaza section. Go Padres. But they didn't all go to Padres fans. I believe in the Braves, completely. After winning last night's game, the Braves have some Pods fans a bit concerned, but they're trying to stay optimistic by showing their true colors. 
Saturday was a great game. It was unbelievable. Yesterday was, uh, it happens, you know. I mean, it's the Braves. You can't, you can't figure you can win them all against the Braves, you know, so it happens. But they're going to do it today. Trevor Hoffman's in the bullpen. He's going to come out. Andy Ashby's on the mound. We're going to do it. Tim's one of the few in this line who went to the games this weekend, but the Padres have been a hit on TV, showing the excitement inside the queue that can't keep fans away. We were hosting a dinner party, you know. <laughs> we had the game on and you know, we had everybody there, so we couldn't quite uh, do both things at once. So, With all these Pods fans, the queue's sure to be a jungle again tonight for what they hope will be the Braves' farewell party. At Qualcomm Stadium, Steve Price, KFMB News 8.